Hey you guys, so today we are looking at this which is a G.I. Joe classified series Spirit Iron Knife and his Eagle Freedom Yes, there is his little eagle in there I do like this artwork on the front I do think that is a really cool They're kind of doing, you know, interesting artwork on these boxes I love that, that as a kid I would have, that is a poster I would have wanted on my wall I'm just looking at those thinking I've got one, two, um, yeah, not well, three, obviously that guy. I've only got three so far. I could have got Killer Croc, I would like Zartan, Snake Eyes, you got other Snake Eyes. Destro was one of my favourites. I had him when he was in the Action Force set, because I'm English and we had Action Force. I do have a load of the original G.I. Joes from back back in the day. If anybody would be interested in seeing any videos of those figures, then comment at the bottom. I have a lot of vehicles as well, if I can find them. It would be, you know, I would happily do some videos of the, you know, retro figures, if anybody is interested. Yes. So, Spirit Iron Knife and Eagle. This, I didn't collect the, these at the beginning because the weapons, and the look of them was just a little bit not my G.I. Joe, you know, so uh, I've, I have I stayed away from them, but they've kind of listened to the fans started making these, which look like they did when I was a kid. Yes. So long ago. Yeah. Big birthday this year. Wow. So, yes, let's get this guy out of the box. Um, there we go. All right. Yes, G.I. Joe was a big thing for me as a kid. Um, we had Action Force first, and then it became G.I. Joe, and I got a lot of the G.I. Joe, <laughs> a lot of the G.I. Joe vehicles and things. Um, I'm trying to think which ones I've got. I used to go around the car boots and things, buying them, and I, I think I. The whale. I think I got three of them and made one good one. What moccasin, which I did a video of, which is on here somewhere if you're looking for it. Um, that was another one that I, I got a group of parts and made maybe two good ones out of it. Right, so there is the man himself, Spirit. I googled it. it they call him Spirit, sometimes Spirit Iron Knife. So stay. Stay, stay. There we go. Let's turn that camera down a little bit so you can see it better. There we go. So yes, so the eagle comes, freedom, comes with tiny little folded in wings or big wings. It is nicely articulated, the head. Let's see if we can do that. The head is articulated. Let's see the wings and the legs. And also the feet. Wow, there is a lot of articulation in a little eagle. That is pretty cool. Um, we have sniper rifle. I think the original one had like my like, arrows in there. They've they've not done that this time. The clip, the clip comes out. Wow, I'm impressed. That's going to end up stuck in a vacuum cleaner somewhere. Um, yeah, that is a pretty impressive rifle. I like it. We have you just lay down there because I can see you wanting to fall over because I keep knocking the table. We have a shiny, a shiny gold knight, uh, gold? That's not gold, that's silver. I know. Shh, nobody will notice. It's okay. Um, <laughs> we have a silver, silver knife. And a black regular knife. Got a slight bend to it, is that one? And a pistol, which looks like, um, yeah, regular pistol. Hmm. And a backpack with a bit stuck on the side and that bit stuck on there which I am kind of wondering what that's for because the rifle doesn't have a peg on it I'm wondering if you suppose you could do that with it that's the kind of thing that they used to do with the older figures it doesn't go on that way but will go on that way so I'm guessing that's well that's useful yeah cool so let's have a look at the man himself here he focus there we go it's a pretty good face. 
I used to love G.I. Joe as a kid because it was so sort of action. You know, the military kind of thing and the tanks and the vehicles and yeah. That one goes in, I guess. Have a look. I think it really matters which way the one that goes in. Like so. And then the pistol goes in there, like that. Brilliant. Right. So anyway, there is the face. Pretty good. The hair as well. That's going over the bandana. Makes it look a little bit more realistic. Like he's... I'm sure these have a name. I, I don't want to say pigtails because they're not pigtails, but I'm sure somebody will notify me to what, for his ethnicity, they are called. There is a, it's a tomahawk, I believe, on his shoulder. And on that side we have the lieutenant. I'm sure somebody will tell me what military emblem that is. I should maybe have Googled that bit, but... It gives you guys something to Google, doesn't it? Yeah, there he is, has his silver... I got the colour right this time. His silver uh, belt buckle and his gold. They've still thrown some gold in there. He says, oh, well, we've bought this gold paint, we're going to have to use it. So, yeah. These are interesting because they are not glued down. So they are kind of manoeuvrable. So you can... This one... The straps aren't glued down, but I think... Oh, no, it isn't. It, it is literally manoeuvrable, which is cool. You can, if you want, move it up a little bit to hide that seam line in his leg. You move it down. Just leave it where it is. Yeah. Nice boots. Some of these boots. I like the fact that they paint the base of the boot black just to give it a bit of colour. Yeah, it is a nice figure. It's got a very, very angry look there. Yeah. So the backpack plugs in like zero. And I've got to stop leaning. Every time I lean on the desk, it tilts forward. So I've got to do this and not be lazy and lean. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Let's see if we can get that rifle. In his hand. Yeah. Holds that pretty well. And that's gonna look cool. I like that. I think I think I'm gonna be buying more G.I. Joe figures. Just because I, I like I say, I loved them as a kid. I still do. I just think they are so cool. Oh, right, let's do a quick to that out of there. And do a quick articulation check. So head forward, quite a lot of back, tilt to either side, butterfly joints in the elbow, we'll take that off because it wants to come off, swivel the shoulder all the way around, there is articulation in the midsection there, elbows quite nice there, wrists are not jointed but do switch, oh no, that's weird, They're joint, they seem to be jointed the other way. Uh, well, looks like a joint in there. That one's jointed that way, so that's okay, that goes that way, but that one looks like it's jointed to go backwards and forth. okay, right. He had the crunch in the middle, which this bit does get kind of in the way of that. This bit is not glued down so is maneuverable around him the belt is also maneuverable as well because that is connected to on that bit so that whole section there is one bit uh, articulation leg reasonably forward reasonably out obviously things are going to get in the way of it does ball the ball joint there does drop down uh, articulation back so he can nearly kick his own butt yeah and that makes him stand better as well because I've got his feet in a good spot now there you go I just needed to hold his feet oh that looks too cool yeah right let's have a quick look at freedom so these 
bowl joints pop out. Let's do a left and a right. Um, yes, I went that way. Oh, yep. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So you can. I did the falcon. I've got the falcon somewhere. It didn't come with it. So Hasbro, you can shift this over and put this with the falcon figure. I never put the falcon figure review on actually. I did. I did film it. I just never put it on. Hmm. I have a lot of old videos that I kind of put up, and then something exciting comes along. So I don't. I don't put it on, and then I go like back through my videos and think wow and that's three months ago does anybody want to see it so if you want to see those old videos that I didn't make live comment at the bottom right so he goes in plugs in there like that and makes him slightly slightly top heavy the backpack doesn't want to stay. He's like, <laughs> the backpack is sliding. He is a heavy figure. I think he will look better. I think he will look better sat on his back with just the little wings. I like the big wings, but it also means that he's going to take up a lot more shelf space. A lot more. So, we shall shop, swap over the wings. And I guess he would be like that. I'm going to try and plug in very deep. They have put it up what looks a little higher than normal. But yeah, that is going to make that's going to make that kind of sag, which is a shame. So if you maybe try and set it there, and it'll settle. Yeah, that seems to work. You know you get certain figures and you can see that they will be the figure that will fall over all the time? With him on there, he's going to be one of those figures. There, he's fine. Put the eagle on him, he's going to fall over. So, that I was going to see if that fit pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to be able to put him like that and maybe stand him at the side. Like the one out of Peacemaker, and I can't think what the Eagle and Peacemaker's called now. Again, put a comment at the bottom and tell me what the Eagle and Peacemaker's called. <laughs> Boy, you guys are going to be really busy making comments at the bottom of this video. Actually, yeah, it does help. You guys, the more comments and things that I get on videos, the more they get seen. It's been really weird lately. I've put some really great videos on. Um, Robocop went through the roof, literally. But my other ones haven't, and I'm and I'm kind of like confused why they haven't. So yes, so yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Let's move his bald eagle out of the way and have a quick close up. That is going to look great stood on the shelf. That is a cool. That was just straight like that is a pretty cool pose. So so far, the only other GI Joe figures in this set that I have got. Ah, uh, Snake. Uh, I keep wanting to call him Snake Eyes. Storm Shadow. And Major Blood. Storm Shadow, Major Blood. I got the names right this time. I don't know why I keep wanting to call him Snake Eyes. And he's not, he's Storm Shadow. So does that mean when I get Snake Eyes, I'll keep calling him Storm Shadow? It's going to be confusing for everybody. Yeah, I know. Well, it's not my fault. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Look on my job description. Third page. Idiot. Yeah. So yeah, I think these look pretty cool. I am definitely, definitely kind of starting to fall into the the web of um, G.I. Joe figures. Yeah. So he comes in just a little bit over six inches, about 16 centimeters. So yeah, a very, very cool figure. The eagle is cool, that looks great on there, but maybe with a base might help keep him up, but yeah, I think that is a nice figure. 
and I've seen the his tank and that looks fantastic but oh way out of my press league so <sighs> yeah sad really anyway <laughs> that's the end of this video if you have enjoyed it you know what I do hit the like button down there helps the channel also if you all hit I, I read this thing the other day that if you all hit the like button at the same time it puts your thing like out there bigger because it thinks that you're trending so you get on the trending list it's never gonna happen for me but who knows um yeah so you hit the likes hit the shares definitely hit the shares try and share this with as many people as you can um and also try and have a look at the um hooper video that i did from the jaws figure the neck of jaws figure because that's got really crappy views come for a like pre-release figure hmm. uh yeah just do all that and don't forget if you're new here subscribe because videos that get more subscribers for me give me an idea of what you guys want to see um there is 80 something 90 something percent of you out there are just watching my videos and not subscribing so please please, please subscribe it really helps the channel yeah because it gets me out there and it gets me seen more you know all the usual stuff anyway i'm rambling yes i do that <laughs> So, have a great day, a great night, and we will see you all in the next video. Bye now.